Okay, this is uh, where the tomatoes are going. This is the raft type, uh, where it's all floating in the water. The original type of DWC system. I'll pull one of them out. This is just a small portion. Here's uh, their, their tomatoes. And there you can see the root. Um, it's a nice little healthy plant. Doing pretty good. Um, they're also pretty good. This is going to be the mother plants for my entire next summer harvest. Um, I'm just going to cl clone these all, all winter long and keep filling up my tank here. So that's where they're all at. This whole area is just the, uh, the plants that are going. And then over here, we've got, this is the flowing NFT system. First right here, I've got just a uh, can of uh, perlite, and I just dumped a whole thing of leaf lettuce on it, and just got it going. When it gets about like that, I'll just start harvesting some for the rest of the winter. This here, I've got three different dates of uh, head lettuce. These ones here were seeds three days ago. So you can see that they've, uh, they're coming on strong at three days. These ones here, on the other hand, are, have now been running for eight days. And it's a fairly healthy little plant. These ones here, on the other hand, are been going for 15 days. And they're doing very well. These are all underneath of uh, 100 watt LEDs, which is what the lights are all, all are. You see, some of them are really taking off. Some of them are lettuce. This is a uh, Swiss chard, and then over here I've got some kale growing. I've got some uh, tomato uh, strawberries that I just took cuttings from that are just taken off. Um, over here, I've also got another raft set up. That this is my strawberries. So we get about a handful of strawberries every day, roughly. And it's just uh, just my old strawberries from this last summer. And anyway, that's the uh, whole system in a nutshell as for right now. And then there's also some of my house plants trying to grow. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the water plant in my garden. And this is the water plant on the water. And 16 types of water plant. This is the water plant on the water plant with some of them. ومن ثم بعد ذلك يتم وضعها في الماء بنسب معد معينة وهذه النسب كل مادة مادة لها وزن محدد تضاف إلى الأسمدة بعد ذلك تضاف إلى المياه ومن ثم يتم وضع هذا الماء في خزان ويتم ضخ المياه من الخزان إلى هذه المواسير حيث لا يوجد في هذا النوع أي مادة تكون فيها الجذور هذه هنا عملية ضخ المياه بواسطة ماتور ومن ثم يتم نقل هذه المياه بواسطة الأنابيب إلى مواسير UVC 4 إنش وتنتقل من هذه المواسير إلى الشكل المزروع في هذه الأنابيب كما نلاحظ هذه الشتول أو هذه الشتلات لا يوجد فيها أي نوع من أنواع التربة بل تعتمد فقط على المياه نلاحظ نمو الجذور هذه هي الجذور الجذور الجديدة والموجودة في المياه في مياه الري نلاحظ هنا مياه الري وهي تسيل في الأنابيب أو في أي طريقة تكون ممكنة لجريان هذا الماء ومن ثم تعود هذه المياه مرة أخرى إلى 
خزان المياه ليتم ضخها مرة ثانية من الخزان إلى هذه إلى هذه الشتول هنا هذه آه هذا هو السبانخ وهذه السبانخ مزروعة في البتموس حيث يتم ضخ المياه أيضا لها بنفس الطريقة تأخذ السبانخ حاجتها من المياه والسماد ثم تعود مرة أخرى إلى هذا الخزان ويتم ضخها مرة أخرى إلى النبات وهكذا بهذه الطرق من الزراعة يتم توفير ما يزيد عن سبعين بالمية من كمية المياه لو كانت الزراعة في التربة وفي هذه الأنواع من الزراعة أيضا لا يوجد أمراض حيث تكون الأمراض قليلة جدا وسرعة Hey, good morning, guys. This is Paul from Hot and Humid Hydroponics. Uh, this is a question that's going to go out to the Hot and Humid Hydroponics forum. I really need some serious opinions here. So, you know, I know you guys have seen like a billion videos of my tomatoes. And that's kind of the, not the point this morning. Um, because as gorgeous and as beautiful as this is, I am actually really considering terminating it all. So, some of you are like, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. That's a crazy idea, Paul. Well, you know what? Here's the deal. I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed with tomatoes. Uh, they're in okay shape, you know. I've, I, they've got decent growth on them, but they're showing almost all of them showing signs of tomato yellow leaf curl virus, it, which will stunt your fruit. It hasn't really seemingly done much stunting on my plants, um, but indeed uh, it's there. So the plant's weakened, and everything is fine right now, but I'm concerned that if I let it go any further... You're, I'm still going to be dealing with some major issues, so uh, long term. But here's the thing: the growing season right now for tomatoes is going to go from about right now all the way through about June, maybe June, depending on how hot it gets, and then it's going to stop because there's just no cotton picking away. We're going to be able to control that much heat on this much plants. I mean, I'm already draining a reservoir a day. Uh, practically, um, and I'm I, and I'm off cycling with, you know, two putting nutrients one day and and no nutrients the next day, or I'm thinking about doing half nutrients because it's costing so much. Um, you know, these I've got a lot of vegetation here. Long story short, probably next season I'll probably like trim 90% of this vegetation because it's just absorbing nutrients and water and so forth. But here's my problem: I've got so many flowers, guys. Look at this. It's crazy. I've got flowers after flowers, fruit after fruit. I mean, it's bursting at the seams. I'm getting like crazy, 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 crazy flowers everywhere. So what do I do? Do I take my seedlings and say, okay, the chances of them are probably going to only get about so big until about the season just terminates them? Or do I just let the tomatoes go the way they are? Or... Do I cut my tomatoes back and totally trim out all of all the foliage and, I mean, just, just give it like a shave and allow all the fruit to ripen up and just call the whole thing and prepare for my other crops? I don't know how long they're going to hold up, especially with a whole new season with a whole new variety of bugs and a whole new variety of attacks. We get a lot of bugs this time of season, so um, I need your opinion. I'd love to hear from it. Thanks again for tuning in and comment in the comments below. All right, quick one. I am getting my butt handed to me this growing season. Uh, I'm telling you, I've had worse problems with plants than I've ever had. And I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong that is not working for me. Number one, all of my nutrient solution is falling out. I have done things exactly the same with the same ratios, you name it. I have no idea what's causing all my problems. I made this last night, an attempt to save what was happening to be a lot of my leaves falling off of a lot of my seedlings. And at the end of the day, I'm still getting some of that. 
and I'm getting dried and shriveled leaves everywhere and I'm bringing it up close as close as I can in video mode these leaves do not look healthy I'm losing them left and right what I did is I ultimately took them out of the cube tray and I figured maybe they were drying up or something I have no idea and I put them in just like that and I just collared them to get a root growing along the stems overnight people overnight I have no idea how this happened I am now getting some white kind of white compound inside there now take that to consideration with the fact look at all that nutrient fallout I have absolutely no idea how that happened I mixed everything as I normally would independently I've got no I'm just using my standard master blend I've got my standard you know calcium nitrate I'm using Epsom salt so I think all Epsom salt is created equal there's no fragrance or anything special about this Epsom salt but ladies and gentlemen um, I'm not sure what's happening and my PPMs are falling and my plants are dying um, this is a different type of setup this is nothing more than the the cups those are my roots those seemingly work well but I'm still getting yellowing on the leaves still getting yellowing and as I open up my nutrient solution tray still tremendous amounts of fallout however the cucumber roots are looking awesome so I need some feedback guys because otherwise I'm gonna be literally losing all of my seedlings more importantly I need to find out what's causing my new my, my nutrient solution fallout because <laughs> come on I've coached people in mixing master blend I have no idea what could be causing this need your opinions appreciate it bye hey there everyone alright so I wanted to share my progress with everyone uh, hasn't been a lot it's been slow but I have been making some progress um, before I show you guys the system again let me first explain the plants that I have left uh, I decided to stop adding to the casualty list while I work out the kinks so these are the, just the ones that I've been able to hold on to. Um, we have Blackberry, um, Tulsi Kapoor Tea, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, jalapenos, more tea, pineapples down here, a couple that I just threw in there a few days ago. Just the tops off of organic ones that we purchased. A uh, little baby jalapeno. There's some mouse melon, some spearmint, peppermint, and Got a couple of lettuces over here, and another spearmint, goji berries, those are in soil, they didn't like the hydroponics, and these are cherry tomatoes. Uh, as you can see, most of my system is still empty because, like I said, I don't want to add to the casualty list anymore while I work out the kinks, but it's getting there. Alright, so, this is my mixing station. That right there is fresh water in. And one of those is a drain to waste, and the other one goes to the two different systems that I have set up. This one here I put together for tomatoes. Uh, these are cherry tomatoes down here. They're doing pretty well. Um, and over here in the NFT system, I already showed you all the plants over here. Um, down here is my reservoir. And my pumps. I'll show you under here. This directs the water from the bucket. And uh, that timer does my tomatoes. Uh, they run 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. And the NFT system runs continuously. Um, the big thing that I wanted to share with you guys is the amount of the, the amount of neglect that. I've committed out here has been horrible and I cannot believe anything's still alive. I've neglected it to the extent that I've only added water with a pH balance of 6. No nutrients, no nothing. I haven't done anything out here in honestly what feels like months. I could be mistaken, but at least a month. And everything just keeps growing. I, I don't even know what my parts per million are. Um, I think I'll check here in a minute. Now that I'm thinking about it, 
but everything's just growing even though I'm not really doing anything even the tomatoes um, I don't even remember offhand the name of the stuff that I used in the tomatoes it was quite a while ago and I haven't done anything since so anyway it's weird but it's something's working and I'm gonna keep going until I have it where I think I want it and then we'll figure it out from there thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it take care hi there I decided to make a video to show everybody what I've done here and hopefully get some input from the veterans. So I figured the easiest way is to show you everything and then I'll ask my questions. This is, this is my little builder, Daniel. He built this whole thing by himself. Alright, I helped a little bit. So, every plant that's in here right now, we started as a seed way before we were ready to put them in the greenhouse and ended up with stretching and everything else. So everything in here right now, I consider this the ICU. Uh, we don't know if it's going to make it, but we're going to try to save these before we move on to new ones. So, uh, the reason I tell you all that is so they, I don't get comments about the stretching and everything else because they actually just got in here three days ago. And no they've only had nutrients for no two days. Water. So, no water. okay. The water starts off over here. And this is the part of the system that I haven't seen anyone else do, but I haven't really looked too thoroughly. This is actually pressurized by the pipes that over here are above the deck. The bucket's pipes. below the deck, pipes. and I've got it sealed pipes. up tight with through hole fittings, pipes. and pipes. it actually stays pressurized. The pump, I decided to get a pump that I could use submerged or not, and I'm keeping it out here, I just, I feel better about the pump being outside of the water. Um, as far as I can figure, the worst thing that's going to happen if I lose power is whatever water has been pumped up top will all flood the bottom pipe. I've got about 23 gallons in this system, including the 5 gallon reservoir, so I'm figuring I'll just lose maybe at the most 7 gallons or so out of the bottom once the everything settles. Um, I figure that's probably worst case scenario. You can do an overflow bucket? Uh, I was considering doing an overflow bucket. It was actually my wife's idea. And um, I'll just tap into the bottom pipe, which is this one here, so that it picks up right below the lowest hole for the water to come out of. Then at least five gallons of it will be saved if necessary. Uh, that's one idea. I'm open to suggestion, and I'm very curious, has anyone else had a partially pressurized system like this? Um, oh, one more thing. When I built this, I did it in an angle, because I had the sun coming from that direction. It goes that direction. That's south. There's a lot of shadowing going on right here. I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue. Obviously not the top pipe, but uh, I guess we'll see. If anybody has any helpful information, I would greatly appreciate it. I wouldn't have gotten this far without y'all so far. So, thank you very much and have a great day. Hey there, Triple H. I'm Dan. Here's my garden. I'm going to give you a quick tour. If anybody wants any more details about specific parts of it, just PM me or, I don't know, post on here or something. I'll see it and I will do my best to answer. So, here it is. This right here is my NFT system. I recently posted a picture of triple digit temperatures inside here and this stuff is still growing. It's uh, kind of strange, but hey, I'm going to keep playing with it and see what happens. I'm working on getting the water plumbed through a deep freezer to keep the temperatures cooler, but I'm not there yet. Um, I'll let you guys know how that goes. Anyway, uh, I've got a variety of plants here. Blackberries, bell peppers, uh, kapoor tea, unknown variety of grapes. Some uh, bee balm, lemon mint tea, a couple of different tomatoes, jalapenos, pineapple, peppermint, got um, citronella, and um, a lot of this stuff is struggling right now because I threw my back out. I've got a bad back, that's why I did this. And while my back was out, the system was down, so everything's starting to come back, but it looks a little rough right now. Over here is spearmint. I've got watermelon, stevia, which I've I actually lost my biggest plant. Um, I broke off a couple pieces and I'm trying to 
make some new plants so I can get some more of that going. The way this works is right down here is a reservoir. The pump pumps up to the top there. This pipe fills up, trickles down to the next pipe, and so on and so forth. Over here I've got soil plants. These are plants that do not do well in hydroponics. I've almost killed all of them trying. Uh, I've got blackberry, goji berry, and carrots. The ones in little pots are spearmint that I took out of the hydroponics and I'm transferring to soil so that I can, I don't know, sell them, give them away, whatever. And this behind me is my bucket system. This is a work in progress. I haven't worked out the kinks yet. I'm really close though. As you can see, it's already insulated top to bottom. Um, I've got some of the pieces removed because I'm working on it. I'm trying to eliminate all the leaks and get the water levels to stay consistent. Um, I'll, again, I'll let you guys know how that goes as it goes. This here is my mixing bucket. This is where I make whatever uh, solution is needed for whichever system. And there's a series of valves in there that I twist to tell the water which direction to go. Hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a shout. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, this is my quick little walkthrough. Uh, that's my hydroponics greenhouse out there. Uh, it's still in full operation. Um, anyway, uh, it's also got an attached chicken pan. Anyway, this is going to be really quick because I have really lousy internet out here. So, anyway, uh, here's the future. This is my indoor section for the winter. And there's that slip master. Yep. And, uh, it's got 40 gallons of a high octane nutrient mix in it. Anyway, here's a uh, DWC. And uh, it's got largely just tomatoes and peppers in it. Um, and also at this end, it's got some, uh, just some seedlings floating around in it. Uh, it's just kale and, and uh, bok choy and uh, romaine lettuce and uh, some Swiss chard. Swiss char Anyway, um, that's just little starters. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, netting over the top, which makes it really easy to tie all your strings on, because uh, then it just doesn't matter where it's at. A uh, little fan at this end. Everything's on timers. Here I've got my cheat sheets, uh, so I can keep track of myself. And also blueprints of the, the land around here. Um, more blueprints and stuff and ideas and things. Uh, here's a future aquaponics setup with a couple of fish in it. I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch more fish and uh, dabble with it this winter. Anyway, um, here's my water systems. Um, coming over here, tying everything together. Uh, I've got uh, regular water lines going in. And here I've got a nutrient tank. And it's also got some little stuff floating around in it that are seedlings and, uh, and then here's those uh, uh, NFTs that we've been talking about the uh, cheapies at uh, Home Depot the rain gutters I added to this end put the, the uh, intersecting splices on and the, the 90s just because it was splashing all over I, I really didn't want to because I like the waterfall effect but uh, I ended up having to Again, I've got uh, netting over the top, um, and uh, more blueprints over there, and uh, a spot underneath for miscellaneous stuff, and just um, stuff, and strawberry plants, and just uh, a little bit of everything going every which way. Uh, that's the way I like it. I like uh, putting a lot of stuff in. i got to get some more lighting. I've actually got a whole bunch more of these four foot lights uh, but uh, anyway um, pretty cool fun uh, I just have a blast doing all this stuff uh, I've got timers hanging from the ceiling and I've got um, um, just all sorts of yeah just stuff anyway it changes every day <laughs> I just keep on going anyway take care you guys have a good time and uh, just enjoy what you're doing have a blast, and uh, keep reading, keep studying, and uh, it'll all come together. Keep changing. It's all good. Anyway, have a good one. Bye. This is Tom Crew, and I'm out.